Hello everyone, and welcome to another drawing video. In this vibrant, and happy, and completely family friendly art video, <clears throat> we'll be going on an artistic journey, colouring in some of my favourite Disney princesses in this exquisitely high quality $2 colouring book. All right, that's enough of that creepy intro. I've got a lot of drawings to share with you guys today, so I'm gonna jump right into it. First up, we've got Snow White. And in case you couldn't tell at the start of this video, I'm obviously joking around. I will be drawing some creepy stuff in this video. There'll be blood, there'll be gore, there'll be a trypophobia drawing. Don't worry though, I'll give you another warning before that drawing comes up, so you can skip it if you get triggered by that type of thing. I know it's gross, so that's fair enough. With all that said, if you enjoy creepy drawing videos like this one, you should definitely subscribe. I upload new ones every single week, and that way you won't miss out. But let's draw some creepy stuff and jump right into it. Enjoy. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Definitely not Snow White. Alright, well, let's move on to another Disney princess, shall we? Can we just have a moment of silence for the copious amounts of damn hair strands I'm about to draw in this picture? This video may be sped up to extreme speeds to make it look like it was quick and easy, but it wasn't. Can we at least appreciate how long this took me? Okay, thank you. I can subscribe. Rapunzel getting the horror treatment. Absolutely terrifying. Just imagining all the shower drains she clogs with that long hair. Definitely nightmare fuel. Next up is the wonderful Jasmine. And luckily I've got a little reference down there to follow along. Let's see how I do. Make Disney proud. <gasps> I was doing so well, and then I accidentally picked up my red Copix, and I couldn't stop. There was blood everywhere. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Jasmine with the sexy vampire vibes. I'd let her bite me. <laughs> That's weird, right? I shouldn't have said that. I take that back. Here we have Jasmine, as intended. And here is my twisted version. So occasionally I get YouTube comments saying, Jordan, you draw too much blood. Just because it's a horror drawing doesn't mean you have to add blood, doesn't make it scary, you rely on it too much. And to those people, I wanted to dedicate an artwork to using just blood because I'm a smart ass. <laughs> but jokes aside, I see the comments and like I agree as well. I know blood is often overused and it's kind of an easy option to do to make something look creepy. But at the end of the day, I have fun doing it. I still think it looks cool. Maybe I do it a bit too much, but you know, these are just some fun drawing videos. They're not artworks I'm hanging up on the wall. They're in a kid's colouring book, so they're not exactly meant to be thought-provoking masterpieces, creating a sense of tension and suspense using subtlety and creepiness. Nah, I'm just a dude in his bedroom drawing in kids colouring books on YouTube, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> also, no hate to the people leaving those comments. I just thought it was funny. I agree with a bunch of what you say. It's all cool. I'm my greatest critic, is what I always say. So if you want to trash my drawings, that's okay. I trash my drawings too. So... On to the next blood-splattered Disney princess? Yeah, boy! Definitely too much blood in this one. Disgraceful. Okay, this next artwork is gonna have some little holes and some things inside those little holes, so if you have trypophobia, maybe skip this one and watch something else. But for everyone else, enjoy, you sickos. Pocahontas is done, looking gross, is how I'd describe it. Something about those little holes and eyeball thingies just grosses me out, definitely. Let's move on to something nice. Cleanser palette, Ariel. How about Ariel? Okay, long fingernails, barnacles, okay, bad choice. Things are getting fishy in here and I'm not enjoying it.
Wait a second. There's no blood. Is this a Jordan Pasigati artwork with no blood? They only enhance on those lips. Is that lipstick or blood? If that's blood, the drawing's ruined. It's ruined. It's ruined. Let's move on to the next one. I'm just really disappointed. I thought he was doing something different and then there was potentially blood on the lips. There's just too much blood every time. Way too much blood. You just get bored of seeing the same thing. Before I finish up the video, I wanted to quickly just say thank you to everyone for supporting my channel. My channel has gotten so much support over the past couple of months. It's really quite strange, like I'm just a guy drawing in my bedroom at my desk with my same camera setup I've had for years, still using iMovie to edit my videos, doing it all myself, and the channel's nearly at a million subscribers. That's weird. Really weird, but I appreciate all of the support. I hope I share some fun, family-friendly art content with you guys. <laughs> I also have to say thank you to all of my awesome patrons for supporting my channel. That little bit extra. I appreciate absolutely every single one of you who stops by my channel, whether you think I draw too much blood or not. <laughs> I'm so salty about that. I'm just kidding, I really don't care. Appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.